Hey guys, this is uh, Tikasi in Revlot Studio. I don't know if you guys ever attempted to make a simple song inside Revlot using scripts. Well, what you're about to hear is what I come up with within, I say, about 20 minutes or so. It's not finished at the moment, and all I'm using is a uh, a sound ID that's on Roblox at the moment. So I'll probably end up uh, sharing this, sort of uh, give you the basics of how it works. So all I've done is I've created a folder that holds the sound objects, like let's just say a folder. And then every time a sound is played through the uh, song, it creates it names it as a channel if you like and for every other instrument that I'm playing it adds another channel to it or another sound object if you like so I'll tell you what before I actually show you the uh, the actual thing itself I'm just going to change it just slightly so it plays once if I can work out how to do that <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll play it and then uh, then I can talk talk about it afterwards. It, it I've got at the moment got it on a loop. So anyway, here you go. Three, two, one. The amazing song that I've ever written. Twenty minutes. it basically <laughs> and then it just loops after that so <laughs> yeah so all that you hear there is basically a, it's going through a table for the beat and for the actual percussion itself I have to add different uh, sort of instruments it's very very basic at the moment and I may even change this into one table so you've got kind of like a uh, how music is when you got the score and things for the instruments and things so the way I've done it here is for every for the first value that is uh, you do a beat and then when it's zero there's no beat so you got one two three four and then it goes again one two three four and again etc etc all the way through so this second value is how fast to actually play it so you can get the pitch if you like so as for the percussion you see at the moment there's zero to start with there's a few twos there but that's what i was doing when uh, when testing sort of thing and then when it comes to this second bar if you like or it might be the third bar i can't remember it starts up so then it plays the same sa sample that I've got but at a higher frequency so it be setting the it's the same as setting uh, well we sound uh, well we playback speed so it's just setting that to 1.5 and somewhere along here it sets it to 5 there you go so that's all it's doing then I'm using rather than a while true do loop I'm using a the run service using run step to try and get it to uh, play at a constant speed that's what's uh, at the moment what, what is failing it and you get a little bit of crackling down again when you're playing the sa samples I've got to work on that but I would say this is not a not a bad system for actually playing custom music in Roblox that's not on Roblox but you can sort of program it kind of like making a little music player you just program it and uh, play it along so yeah <laughs> I think if I get enough likes at the at, for this video I will be releasing this as in its current state if you like Anyway, this has been Tick in Verbal Studio on my awesome script, uh, song script if you like, and I'll catch you guys later.
Let's play it again for the outro. Three, two, one. And I'm not yet dancing either.